next performer is one of the most talented comics on the scene, who's about to make his Royal Variety performance debut. Next year, he's taking his Speaky Blinder tour on the road, so please welcome the superb Chris McCausland! <laughs> Blind is the answer to the question I probably get asked the most, apart from what you're doing in my garden. <laughs> you, you do get used to it, though. There aren't too many things I feel like I'm missing out on in the world. It's the little things that get me, if I'm honest with you. You know, the little things that we all take for granted, like, like the ability to just be able to stand up off the toilet, take a step away from the toilet, then just turn back and have a little look down. Just... <laughs> it's not the same when you're going to put your hand in. <laughs> it's such an honour to be here this evening, performing alongside all these musical superstars and legends, you know. I, I love music so much. I, I, before the pandemic, I went with my mates to watch Guns N' Roses live. Or so they told me anyway. <laughs> I, mean, I suppose we could have just gone to one of their houses and put the live album on loud, really, couldn't we? Just, well, they charged me six quid a pint for three hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, not as busy as you thought it would have been this Guns N' Roses concert, is it, Chris? <laughs> popular as they once were, it seems. You're around, give us your money, give us your money. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself, Chris? Yeah, I know it sounds, mate, it sounds. A little bit weird that there's a cat, but never mind. <laughs> you know, I was um, listening to an audio book the other day, because it's quicker. It's amazing these days, the times we live in. You can get anything on audiobook these days. Like 20 years ago, very much a niche market. You wanted a full-length book on audio 20 years ago. You had to go to the library, you had to borrow it, you had to wheel it home in a trolley. It's like 10 you could pick from came in a massive box. But now, since we've got downloads, it's in the mainstream. Anything you want now that's popular, you can get on audiobook, right? I mean, almost. I mean, you can't get Where's Wally? That's not an audiobook. <laughs> Chapter one, the beach. <laughs> not Wally, not Wally. Not Wally, not Wally. Not Wally, not Wally. Oh, we've missed live audiences so much this last 18 months or so, you know. We have, I can't. I can't wait to get out on tour. I'm double AstraZeneca, you can lick me, I'm good to go. <laughs> well, at least I thought I was. I need a third one now, don't I? When will it ever stop? Started off with Wuhan, didn't it? Or coronavirus classic, as we call it now. <laughs> so then we got the Kent variant which no one was surprised was a lot more bolshy than your face if it was proper, Ken. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan. I'm from Liverpool for a short time. We had a Scouse variant, which I don't think anyone thought was ever going to be suppressed by a Tory government. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine, just so long as we don't get a Scottish one, eh? Oh. The end of us all, wouldn't it? Imagine that we'd never hear the end of it, would we, until it was recognized as its own independent virus. <laughs> I can't believe over the last 18 months no one tried to rob a bank. 
I read the news every day. I did not read one story of anyone, anywhere, taking advantage of the situation when a face mask and sunglasses has been perfectly acceptable attire. In any financial institution of your choosing, you could have put earmuffs on. No one would have batted an eyelid. They would have been, oh, that must be so it doesn't get in your ears. I'd love to rob a bank. I, would. I reckon most blokes would. We harbour a secret ambition, you know. I reckon I would be the last person they would ever suspect. But also the least person likely to make a getaway, so it's... Police had turned up. What happened here? Well, officer, he came into the bank. He made his way slowly to the front of the queue before shouting out, this is a robbery, sticking his hand out in front of himself, grabbing a stack of those blank painted in slips, <laughs> shoving them into the depths of his inside pocket before turning on his heels and running headfirst into the triple plate glass window. Chris McCorston, thank you so much. Cheers, thank you, thank you. For over a hundred years, the Royal.